Like every little boy growing up in America, my husband shared the same dream, to one day wear a big league uniform. Even though I'm certain his name is unfamiliar to most of you, I always believed his story was one worthy to be told. I just never fathomed it would be under these circumstances. My children and I are so honored to give you a glimpse of Darren Winston and share how dur during our darkest hours, Bat came into our lives. We were high school sweethearts, married in college, had our first child, <laughs> and expecting number two, when we entered into the unfamiliar and ambiguous world of professional baseball. His childhood dream now became ours. Our never-ending trek all across the North and Central American continents, with all we possessed in tow, put the infamous rookie story to shame. But what it also revealed, Darren had the patience of a saint. After toiling 10 long years, and let me repeat that again for the third time, 10 long years in the minors, and defying all odds, our dream finally came true. On September 10th, 1997, he got the call to what he dubbed his promised land. In all of baseball history, Darren Winston is one of only 30 men to make their major league debut after the age of 30. His enduring love for the game and unwillingness to give up that ball, along with his tenacity and deep faith in God, gave him the tools to achieve something possible for only a few. Darren often said, adversity builds character. And let me tell you, he had an abundance of both. Philadelphia Phillies pitching coach Darren, oh, sorry, Galen Sisko <laughs> said, Darren Winston wasn't given a chance, he made his chance. Fellow teammate Rex Hudler shared, Darren is my hero. I'll never get tired of talking about how he overcame the politics and injuries of the game to see his dream come true. Thank you. With his unassuming quick wit, Darren often enjoyed to share some other highlights of his unorthodox career. After striking out Don Mattingly in a 1990 spring training game, he swore it was his nasty slider that injured Mattingly's back, putting him out for the entire season and probably ending his career. <laughs> also, how he made it into the Baseball Hall of Fame for allowing Sammy Sosa to hit his 12th home run off him in the 1998 race for the home run crown. <laughs> Thankfully, we didn't listen to these next two men. A well-known coach said, hang it up, Darren, you're never gonna make it. Then in 1996, one of the biggest agents in Major League Baseball ceased representing him after we decided to take the entire year off from baseball because God told us so. They said to him, you're never going to find a, a job in baseball again. Well, I bet they were a bit surprised when just a year later, Darren was sporting a major league uniform for the Philadelphia Phillies. <laughs> Remaining steadfast throughout his journey, we always believed with God all things are possible. While year after year, he hung his favorite scripture in his locker, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Well, after 15 years of playing the game he loved, Darren decided it was time to give up that ball. So in 2002, we threw away our suitcases and settled into a life without baseball. He worked construction by day gave countless baseball lessons by night, while still having time to be the most incredible father and husband. My, hu my kids and I simply called him our Superman. Then, suddenly, in the early morning hours of August 15, 2008, our lives were tragically altered. I was awakened by a hospital call where a week earlier, Darren was admitted for not feeling himself. He had tests done the day before, and I was told there were complications and I needed to come immediately. His blood pressure had dropped dangerously low from undetected internal bleeding. 
I had no idea the night before when we said, I love you, it would be our last. Watching them transfer him to the OR with portable life support, it then hit me how dire he was. I said, God, please, not today. It's Jacob's birthday. While painstakingly waiting, I sensed our spirits were parting. And then as the surgeons walked slowly towards me, not uttering a word, I knew my beloved husband of 21 years and at the age of 42 was gone. All I said was, can I see him? Upon seeing his strong, lifeless, yet still warm body, I said over and over, we're gonna be okay, babe, I promise you. We're gonna be okay. Standing at the end of the hospital hall, my heart anguished as I watched our six children walk towards me. This was my darkest moment, telling them daddy didn't make it. And on his birthday, I said to Jacob, God gives life and he takes it away. And I know there's a reason why God took daddy today. And someday he will tell us. The following day, our next door neighbor, who also played professional baseball, gave me a number to possibly help with funeral expenses. It was the number for Bat and the name Jim Martin. Having never heard of Bat before, I had no idea how much Bat would help us make everything okay. For the past two and a half years, Bat has paid our mortgage, helped us with utilities, and most significantly, allowed me to be home with my children during the toughest adversity of our lives. If not for that, this wouldn't be possible. Remember me telling Jacob, God will tell us one day why he took his dad on his birthday? Well, as always, God came through. One year later, after getting home from buying Jacob's birthday cake, I took it out of the box, looked down, and, and read, Happy Birthday, Jacob Darren. Even though I never had his middle name written on his cake before, for some reason this year I did. At that very moment, God told me why. I said to the kids, today, the day God gave Jacob his physical life, God called daddy home to begin his eternal life. And for this reason, we will celebrate both. This gives us peace in knowing that he is home, enjoying his eternal promised land, once and for all. The joy is not just about arriving at our destination, it's also in the journey getting there. And even though my husband's journey was way too short, he had a great one. Leaving behind a legacy as unforgettable as they come, listen to the words spoken about him. As a man, he defined father, husband, and role model. Take everything Darren has given you, apply it to your life, and you will be a better person because of it. Thank you, Bat, for allowing tonight to be a part of our journey. But most of all, thank you for helping me keep my promise to our Superman that we're going to be okay. God bless.